here it is this one here is called Hoya blusher Niasiai. i know that i'm not saying the name correctly but whoever came out with the names for hoyas decided to name in, in plants in general decided to make them impossible to pronounce what did you say Numano ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis okay Welcome to my channel, Gusty's Plants, and today I have my final unboxing that I'm gonna do in this channel for ever, I guess. Never say never, but I might start doing unboxings next year, or maybe I don't do unboxings anymore. Anyways, so when I made my plant addiction video, prior to making that video, I had placed um, three orders two from Instagram and one from Gardino's Nursery. They sent me an email. Uh, about two weeks ago um, and with a list of Hoyas again I think about a, a week after um, or a few days after I got my my Hoyas for the first time I got a second email saying um, that they had more Hoyas and so I picked up six <laughs> I picked up six Hoyas and then um, here they are so it's six Hoyas from Gardino's nursery and I have my handy dandy scissors and I know that a lot of you guys don't like watching me unbox the plants but you can move along this is my channel this is what I like to do so I'm always so interested in what other people get when they order online and always when I order online or before order ordering online I like to see unboxings of people just to see what I can expect it's not just plants, like when I order a shampoo, when I order a perfume, I like to find reviews online and just to see what I'm expecting. Okay. So I cannot, oh my god. I cannot with this. I cannot. So the box it's finally open and let's get started. So six oils are in here and since it's gonna be my final unboxing, let's try to make it fun, right? So let's just go ahead and see what we have here. Here's the first one. Let me scoot back a little bit. Alright guys, so here I am. I forgot the names of the Hoyas in this video. Oh, they're labeled okay so the first one here is Hoya Verticillata all right let's do a nice close-up of this Hoya so this one here is Hoya Verticillata short leaves um, or small leaves I know that it comes in different kind of variations this one is the one in small leaves with the speckles or like a uh, splashed very nice leaf the leaves are very glossy thick and chunky kind of like ovovara like very thick succulent Super nice, it has a little active growth point right there. Um, I noticed that some of the Hoyas that I have don't really like a lot of humidity as others. Some of them were growing um, tendrils and the tendril fell off because it was too humid and so I came to realize that not all Hoyas love as much humidity as others do, so yeah. All right guys, so one more Hoya, or five more Hoyas. This one came in very funky, like the sand is all over. You see that? That's like a bunch. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this needs to be fixed up quick. So this one here is the Hoya Samoensis. To a close-up of this Hoya. So this Hoya, it's uh, very thin leaves. It almost feels like it's dehydrated. Maybe like it didn't travel well, but it has 
two tendrils with three active growth, four active growths. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Hoya Macrophylla Babua. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly, but yup. This one, um, I thought it was going to be different. I thought the leaves were going to be more thick and veiny. It's a nice Hoya. I like the veins. Um, I just expected something more. I like it, but... I mean, it seems like it's going to be a very fast grow rate in humidity, kind of like the Ilagi Orium, as when it has very thin leaves, but it's very, like, public calyx-like in the sense that it likes to throw tendrils left and right. This one is already growing tendrils left and right, so. You know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing that I'm, I'm kind of, like, out of focus, so let me fix myself a little bit. So I realized I was a little bit out of focus, so now that we're in focus, let's continue. So, four more to go. I cannot believe that they sent six Hoyas in this box. Like, I thought they were gonna come in like in separate boxes, but they didn't. Oh my god. And this is beautiful. I was not expecting it to look like this. Wow. Am I impressed. What's the name of this one? Like I ordered it but I forgot the names. This one is here. Hoya Botanica. Oh my god. Let me do a close up because this arrived so sun stressed. It looks gorgeous. Oh my god. Let me just do a close up because you guys can see. Look at the sun stress. It almost looked like a purpley you know, like fig kind of color. Super nice. Bainy, thick. Oh my god. The leaves are very thick and puckered. And it feels like rubber. It doesn't feel like a plant. It feels more like a, you know, like an eraser from like a pencil, like a pencil eraser. It feels like a gummy eraser. Oh my god. This is magnificent such oh my god one of my favorite hoyas right now i've ever received this one is i've seen this pictures i've seen pictures of this hoya on instagram and on google and none of them look like this so oh my god i'm in shock so that's only three hoyas three more to go but this one here is hoya botanica i kind of just had fits my room and then I got this plant now. The next one. Oh my god, the more I unbox, the more I want to order. But I know it's an addiction, but I need to stop. Like, I can't. Okay, here's the second one. Now, I thought this was going to be more fuller of a plant. But this one is Soya Mini Bell. Now, I've... um. I actually did not want to order this Hoya prior, but I saw um, on Instagram, I think her name is uh, Corky Flora. She I was doing like a tour of her plants and I saw her um, her Hoya um, Mini Bell and I fell in love, guys. This Hoya, it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of my um, Robolobilis. Like the leaves are kind of like the same, just in it's like a petite format. Very nice leaves. Um, I haven't really done much research on this Hoya, but I believe it's kind of like a cross, so a hybrid of some Hoyas. If I, if I find what the hybrid is, I'll put it here in the in the video, but um, oh my god, this looks very nice too. Kind of like, uh, reminds me of the Ribulobilis and the um, Kentiana Way, uh, eye or like the um, Shepardi eye kind of like hybrids. Super nice Hoya, and um, I heard that it's a fast grower, that's what I know from Corky Flora, so... Okay, guys. And here's the second to last. This one here is Hoya Celata. Celata. Kind of like a can. <laughs> if you speak Spanish, Celata. Celata means can. But, um, so here it is, Hoya Celata. I'll do close-ups of this Hoya as well. Um, this Hoya looks very 
green <laughs> but like a kind of like a bright highlighter green very bright and to take off much painting but it looks very glossy um the new growth here on this soya seems to be very nice and dainty like very um thin and as it matures it seems to you know thicken up um the new growth the tendril comes out green i'm seeing so this this hoya um from what i'm looking at most hoyas you know they're green and then the, the tendril is either like red or like a brown this one seems to be growing the tendril green as well so imagine a hoya with um green leaves and, and a green tendril I'm saying that because I'm looking at the new growth, it's a tendril and it's coming out green with the two little leaves on the top, so. I've never seen a Hoya fully green, including the tendril, so. Imagine if the fl if it flowers and the flowers are green as well and the... Okay, well, there you go. And here is the last Hoya. Now, based on the pictures that I saw from Gardino's Nursery, I ordered this Hoya because of the name, because of the flowers, and because of the size. Um, so you, you can say I kind of saved the best for last. Here it is. This one here is called Hoya Blusher Nia CI. I know that I'm not saying the name correctly, but whoever came out with the names for Hoyas decided to name, in, in plant in general, decided to make them impossible to pronounce. One last word. What's the word? Pneumono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Um, Hoya Blusher Nasani I, or Dasani, something like that. Gosh. I want to know who names these Hoyas. Oh my god guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Looking if they throw in some little samples. Oh my god, look at this beauty, guys. I'm not gonna do close-ups on this one because you, you don't need them. Like, it's so huge. Oh my god. It has peduncles. Oh my god. It has one, two, three peduncles. Three peduncles. It already with three, four. <gasps> one, two, three. It has four peduncles. Oh my god. It probably has more. <gasps> guys this is crazy so this is Hoya blush here in your eye um I'll do close-ups on the petoncos but oh my god so this one didn't really travel well as I'm seeing it does have yellow leaves on the bottom but the reason why I ordered this Hoya was because of the size and the price this was I think under $40 if I'm not mistaken and look at the size of this Hoya it it actually has an active petonco in here it seems like it's about to start budding up so um if you guys have this soya and you're watching the video does it like a lot of humidity i feel like it does um if it does i'm gonna put it put it right in my um grow tent that i have in my living room which i made a video on a few videos back i think i'll put a insert card here in the video somewhere but um i like that because it's huge it's tall and i could put in Hoyas that are kind of like in the large large size because it's a very tall and I could put Hoyas that have a, a very large t um, You know trellis to climb up on so as opposed to putting them in in my grow boxes They're not so tall and I can only fit like smaller Hoyas, but um if I If I put this inside my my grow tent, it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna fit I'll have to take some out so just to make room for this one, but um, oh my god So the leaves are very it reminds me of Hoya Benguetensis kind of like the same the leaves are smaller though, um, it has a lot of veins, and they're very thin. Usually when Hoyas are thin, actually they do like a lot of humidity, which makes sense because my Hoya, um, Tahasma, Tahasma, Hadasma Langensis, again, whoever comes up with the names of the Hoyas. Um, is there any other alternate pronunciations, please? We don't know what that one is. 
Well, Hello has my Langensi, I put it in my grow box and because it wasn't so tall and um, it actually lost all the little baby leaves that was coming out. I feel like too much humidity kind of killed it. Um, it's doing fine. It has a huge tendril, but I have it now in my kitchen on my, um, my kitchen window where it gets east sun in the mornings. But anyways, yeah, I'm impressed with this unboxing, guys. The Hoya, it's gorgeous. All of the Hoyas are beautiful. And I'm so happy. This was my final unboxing on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just leave me a comment down below. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink water and water your plants.